Hey guys, welcome back to All in Law. This is a quick radiology. We're gonna review radiology in two minutes. So we're gonna discuss only important points or important signs, radiological features that will help you to diagnose the disease very soon. Okay guys, so today's topic is Candroplasia. Okay guys, so you know this is what you call um, autosomal dominant disorder with uh, what you call dwarfism is very is a, one of the main feature of this uh, disease that's known as a rhizomelic dwarfism rhizomelic dwarfism means there is a shortening of the proximal bones like femur and the humerus okay so let's talk about the radiological signs that we see in achondroplasia is champagne glass pelvic inlet. There will be a narrow what you call a sacrosciatic notch. Narrow sacro sciatic notch uh, leading to what you call a champagne glass pelvic champagne. glass pelvic inlet very important sign pelvic inlet okay and there will be what you call a trident hand with a short stubby fingers trident hand In this there will be the short stubby fingers fingers diverge from each other you know and uh, each other in two pairs plus thumb also just google the images of this guy's trident hand of achondroplasia then we have chevron sign chevron sign is a, or a ball and socket epiphyso metaphyseal junction epiphyso metaphyseal metaphyseal junction okay then we have what you call lumbar canal stenosis okay then bullet nose vertebra bullet nose vertebra and a posterior scalloping of vertebra posterior scalloping of vertebra okay right small cella could be seen small cella and then tombstone iliac blades with posteriorly set acetabulum okay guys so these are the what you call radiological findings of echondroplasia thank you so much for watching this video take care